Hi there, young math whizzes. Ready for a multiplication challenge? Jump into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for 20 exciting multiplication questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join in on the fun. Question 1. 3 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 7 is 21. To calculate, we have three groups with seven balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 21 balls. Question 2. 8 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 2 is 16. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 16 balls. Question 3. 8 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 4 is 32. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 32 balls. Question 4. 8 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 5 is 40. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 5. 3 times 9 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 9 is 27. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 6. 5 times 6 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 6 is 30. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 30 balls. Question 7. 7 times 8 equals what? So, the answer is 7 times 8 is 56. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 8 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question 8. 9 times 7 equals what? So 
the answer is 9 times 7 is 63. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 9. 9 times 8 equals what? So, the answer is 9 times 8 is 72. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 8 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 72 balls. Question 10. 5 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 4 is 20. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 11. 8 times 8 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 8 is 64. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 64 balls. Question 12. 7 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 7 times 9 is 63. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 13. 4 times 3 equals what? So, the answer is 4 times 3 is 12. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 3 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 14. 9 times 6 equals what? So, the answer is 9 times 6 is 54. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 54 balls. Question 15. 5 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 5 is 25. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 25 balls. Question 16. 
Five times nine equals what? So the answer is five times nine is 45. To calculate, we have five groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 45 balls. Question 17. Three times five equals what? So the answer is three times five is 15. To calculate, we have three groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 15 balls. Question 18. Eight times seven equals what? So, the answer is, 8 times 7 is 56. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question 19. 7 times 9 equals what? So the answer is 7 times 9 is 63. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 20. 6 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is, 6 times 9 is 54. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 54 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.